Welcome to Immigration Quick Take. This is Jessica Eyes with the American Immigration Lawyers Association. Yesterday, the Senate Judiciary Committee adjourned at 5.15 p.m., having nearly completed the markup of Title IV of the Senate Immigration Reform Bill S-744. The markup will resume tomorrow at 9.30 a.m., and joining us to discuss the status of the bill is Immigration Attorney and AILA Treasurer Bill Stock, through Skype from Philadelphia. Bill, can you give us an overview of what is in Title IV? Uh, Title IV of S-744 contains changes to some of our current temporary visas for employment, and it creates new temporary visa categories for entrepreneurs and for innovators. It does not contain the new W visa program that will admit lower skilled workers to address persistent shortages in the U.S. labor market, such as in agriculture. How has the amendments process gone so far? Fifteen amendments were passed yesterday with a majority support out of the 25 total votes taken. All but one of the amendments that passed did so with broad bipartisan support on voice votes. The committee members who negotiated the base bill continue to stay committed to the core provisions of the bill, with two Republican negotiators on the committee, Senators Flake of Arizona and Graham of South Carolina, joining all 10 Democrats to vote no on two amendments that were offered by Senator Sessions. Those votes would have tied certain provisions of the bill to the successful implementation of a biometric entry and exit system, which went against the core of the bill. What have been voted upon that we should be aware of? Uh, Yesterday, three of Senator Grassley's eight offered amendments were passed, all with voice votes. The amendment labeled Grassley 58 requires additional information in the new mandatory internet job postings that will be required for the issuance of H-1B visas. Grassley 69 will strengthen provisions regarding the student and exchange visitor visa programs, while Grassley 77 will require DHS to implement the transmission of data from the CVIS database to the other databases used by CBP. Uh, In addition, two amendments offered by Senator Schumer, number three and number four, passed, and will also allocate small numbers of visas to underrepresented countries. Uh, Finally, an amendment by Senator Klobuchar, number one, will provide protections for abused family members of temporary workers. What amendments remain to be considered during the rest of the week? Uh, As you mentioned earlier, markup on Title IV will resume tomorrow at 9.30 in the morning. Negotiations are still ongoing between Senator Hatch and members of the negotiating team. They would like to include some of his amendments, numbers 10 through 17, uh, which we would support in the final version of the bill. Uh, When those are completed, the committee plans to address Title III of the bill, and we hear that they're likely to start marking up the E-Verify section. Markup of Title III of the bill could continue into Friday and possibly even Saturday as the committee attempts to get all of the markups done uh, through Title III this week. Are there many amendments to Title III, and how can members stay involved at this point? Uh, There were 85 amendments filed for Title III, but of course, just because an amendment is filed does not mean it will be considered by the full committee. It is up to Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Leahy's discretion, and he will work with the ranking member to decide which uh, of those amendments will be voted on. It's important for AILA members and the public to remain engaged in this process. Resources are available on AILA's website, and I'd encourage AILA members to stay active by submitting letters to their editor, op-eds, and by contacting the offices of their senators. Thank you, Bill, for joining us today. Links to helpful resources can be found under this video or on www.ala.org. For the rest of you, stay tuned for more updates through Immigration Quick Take from the American Immigration Lawyers Association.